video dashboard review. If you want to know what it is, how it works, and excellent uses for it, you may want to check out the rest of this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It feels like forever since I last put a video on this channel. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been quite a while. You know, I've been pretty busy, pretty busy working on a lot of different projects. Um, I've been learning a lot of things, you know, I've been living life, all those sort of things that kind of get in the way, okay? But I've decided that, you know, 2020, I'm gonna spend a lot more time on my YouTube channel, I'm going to be dropping content on a much more regular basis. So you might want to, uh, you know, hang around and check out the, what, what's coming. But also, I've been looking for you know excellent products and uh, strategies that I think you guys are going to be interested in, um, and that's why we're here today. So we're going to be talking about video dashboard. And I'm going to be, you know, giving you a real in-depth analysis of it. Um, what it's good for, you know, how you can use it. And, you know, at the end of the video, if you're there for the end of the video, you're going to be able to find out uh, about the bonus, you know, that I've got for you. Uh, it's an excellent little bonus. Um, it's not, you know, a load of old rubbish that you don't need. It is a really handy uh, tool uh, that I know that you guys are going to be interested in. So if you're interested in a video dashboard, check out that. And of course, jump down into the co uh, description section. Um, and if you if you decide to go with uh, Video Dashboard, you're going to get access to that really super cool bonus. So I uh, will try to remember to discuss that at the end of the video. So hang around for that. And and if we remember, we will talk about it. So um, right. So Video Dashboard. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here to talk about. Now, um, you know. Unless you've been living under a rock, um, which you probably haven't if you're on the internet, uh, you will know that video is, you know, it's the king of the marketing world. You know, without video, um, you know, you're nothing. You know, that is why, you know, I've got this video here on YouTube because I know that, you know, these types of videos work exceptionally well uh, for all manner of things, okay? Um, and we know that when we we search for content, you know, on Google, if we find a video, bang, we're going to watch it. You know, we've got a problem, we're going to go on YouTube and find it out. But in addition to that, we know that um, videos working all over the shop, all of the platforms are integrating video in an exceptionally advanced way. You know, you're talking about Facebook has video all the time. You know, whether it's short videos, whether it's long videos, whether it's live videos. We've got YouTube and the way that they've implemented uh, premieres, you know, for, you know, live videos going online. Um, you've got the new features of Pinterest that are showing, you know, kind of like animated images, but kind of videos as well. As well as just the normal image pins, okay? We've got the way that Instagram has uh, brought in stories, you know, and then, you know, the new kid on the block, you got TikTok, which is these super quick videos that everyone's buzzing about, you know, so you got um, lots of different types of videos that people are consuming um, and video, you know, is the number one um, type of content that's being consumed. So that means that we need to get involved in it. OK, and that is why I think the video dashboard is a, an excellent tool to help us with that. And I'll talk about that more and show you. OK, but when we're creating video, you know, we have a number of problems that we might have with video. OK, so the first one is the content. What actually is the content that I'm going to create? You know, what's it about? I don't know. OK, the second one is. Uh, how am I going to create it? You know, I don't have any skills, you know, you know, how do I create these videos? You know, I don't want to be on camera, you know, or whatever. I don't have, you know, editing skills. Okay. The third one is, you know, what type of video is it? Is it, the, you know, we spoke about the short videos or the long videos Now, the long videos, like the video you're watching now, 
more you know informational more explanation you know more detailed um you know these were excellent on things like youtube to a certain extent on facebook as well um and then the alternatives is the short form that works really well um you know on you know things like you know the pinterest videos the tiktok for example uh instagram you know all these sorts of places okay and um you know the last problem that people have is what platform so we kind of mentioned it there all those different platforms which one should i focus on no i haven't got time to do all of them or have i can can i repurpose can i repurpose my content okay and we've spoken about this so many times the repurposing of content uh for different platforms can be exceptional exceptionally work exceptionally well do you know so for instance just say you write a detailed blog post that you rank on uh using seo techniques if you repurpose that as well as a podcast and then in video form as well you know you've got a three-pronged strategy to gain an exceptional amount of traffic to whatever it is uh the content is about okay but regardless of that let's start talking about video dashboard because essentially that's what we're here for okay so when you're inside you know the first thing that we're going to talk about is um you know you've got you've got these abilities to search what's trending. So you've got trend pulse, Twitter trends, Reddit pics, and you've also got the ability to find copyright free videos. Now, I'm not too excited about that part, okay? I would be more interested about going out and finding royalty free videos. And there is a lot of websites out there um, that have royalty free videos without downloading something from YouTube. I don't particularly like that technique. So, you know, let's forget about that. But in terms of like the trend pulse, I can click here and I can search for, um, you know, whatever. So just say I put in Prince Harry, for example, right? And, you know, it's gonna come up with, it's gonna search, it's gonna come up. So what, what it's done, right? So I just went for Prince Harry, you know, lo topical, topical further at the moment. So uh, you can see you've got all of these pages here that it's, it's dragged up that I can go through and I can start looking at. We've also got all of the top hashtags that if you want to do a post about, you know, look, it's Prince Harry, Prince Harry and Meghan, Prince Harry of Wales, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So instantly I'm finding the exact hashtags I should be using when I post. But it's also going to give me the ability to actually um, go through and, you know, find out more information about what is actually trending with regards to, you know, those queries. OK, so you can see here, these are the posts that are coming up and I can see beneath it 11,000 likes, 300 comments, da -da -da, you know, all this sort of stuff I can go through and I can really find out content that I might want to repurpose. You know, I can flick between images and videos here. So this is just a really, you know, a small part of the software, like more of a research tool, okay? The same thing you've got with Twitter Trends. Twitter Trends works slightly differently, but I can see what is trending right now. And I can um, change it for the location. So just say I want to go with New York, you know, the old classic. This is going to change. So suddenly, you know, these things, the Oscars, you know, da, 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 these things are what's trending right now. So that might make you an idea that I might want to slam out some content to my pages specifically about this. Right. So likewise, you know, you can change the location. You can go through these things. You can click and it's just going to come up with Twitter. But anyway, so let's just cross that off. So. The, um, so this is this gives us an indication of what to create videos on. Now, actually creating the videos, you know, the step two, you know, within Video Dashboard, you can create videos, okay? And you can create some super cool videos in two different ways. So the first way is, um, no, not custom videos, it's template bank. So you can see we've got these different video, different ways of making videos. Now, why is this important? Because um different platforms have different shaped videos okay you know youtube tiktok pinterest these sorts of things they're in different ways so we might want to create in different 
platforms. Now I'm going to click on one of these in a second, but just before I do that, I just want to tell you about another super cool thing that you may be incredibly interested in. We've got the social calendar here. Okay, and the social calendar is essentially 365 templates that have been specifically created for a specific day of the year. Okay, so you can see today is what the 11th of February and we've got inventors day there. Okay, so and then tomorrow hug day, kiss day, Valentine's Day, you know, all these sorts of things. And you can go through and templates have been created and all and I can go in and I can use these without even changing them because they would have been created or or I can um, change them up, go in there and I can look at that and I can say, all right, I actually want to change the image there. Let's change some of the text, whatever I can add my own brand in and you do it in a matter of seconds. Before that, you've also got the ability to change the platform. So these will change to the right shape and size, which is super cool. So let's go back to the template bank and we're just going to go through doing a two step procedure. Um, I think super cool. So we're going to go we'll click on Facebook. OK, and you can see here we've got a number of these different templates that we can go in and we can change and, you know, we can change the images, the text, all that sort of stuff. Now I'm going to go with this one, Mantra of Life, because it's a, let's just change the volume down, um, just because it's a simple text-based one. It just shows you what you can do. It's a 20-second video. Now I'm going to click on uh, Create Video. And you can see we, it's popped up here. I can come in here. I can change the, um, uh, I can change the title so I know exactly what the video is going to be called. Now what you can see here is that th this video is, you know, the template has been created with a uh, number with uh, five texts and an image. Okay, so I'm just going to change it to a motivational quote. Um, you know, what have we got there? So we've got five uh, five sections. So. Uh, what should we go with? I'm just going to try and go with dream it, believe it, build it. Right. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. So dream it. Believe it. Build it. Right? Okay. So we've got that. They're, they're going to be our text. And then I'm going to go with an image. And I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to browse. And I've got a logo. Right, okay. Um, that is a clear image, so you can't kind of see it on the uh, preview. But we're going to click next, and you know, you can go through and change the colors if you want. You know, there's all of these different uh, color palettes there, you know, or you can go through and check, create your own custom ones. Um, I mean, I'm just going to keep it like it is for the purposes of what we're doing here. You've also then got an ability to add in um, some music. Let's just make sure what the volume's like, because I don't want it to blast out. Let's just go with that. You know, a bit of a uh, epic sort of sound. We'll then click next. And what we're going to do is we're going to click start rendering. And essentially what's what's going to happen is um, it's going to start creating that video. Now it's creating, it's formulating everything that we, we spoke about, everything that we did, and it's doing it on the video dashboard server. So this can take a minute, two minutes, three minutes, you know, five, 10 minutes. Okay. Depending on uh, how big the video is and how busy the server is at that present moment. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video and I'm going to come back um, in a short while when the video is completed. So then I can show you the rest of what I want to talk about. Right, so we're back. You can see that took um, it says seven minutes. I mean, it took about five uh, to do that video and we can click on that. Dream it. Believe it. Build it. And then, you know, could have done the image a little bit bigger, to be honest, but there we go. Either way, you get the message, you know, so super simple and it looks slick as hell. That's what I like. I like things that look cool without me having to do, you know, much, much about it. Okay. So what happens now? Click on the share button and you can see I can share Facebook, Twitter, Daily Motion, Vimeo, LinkedIn, YouTube, right? We've got Instagram, TikTok. These are mobile assisted and these are pop up. Okay. So I'll show you about this in a minute because I'm going to show you in the, the second part of what I was talking about at the beginning of this video. But anyway, so just so I want to click it on Facebook, you know, I select the account and just say we're going to bang it on here. Okay. And just say I want to, you know, I want to put in, you know, the link here so I can, where were we? This one. So I can put in a message and say, You know, it's back. Don't miss out. Throw in the old uh, link and I can just click post and I'll just post it. Why not? Um, you know, so I've just thrown up a bit of content onto my page. Successful, super sweet. Now, at the beginning of this video, I was talking about what platforms to use, which one are best, how to repurpose it, you know, because, you know, sometimes it's, I create that video, it's pretty, you know, for me to do that for all the different platforms, you're thinking, crikey, I mean, this could take all day. Do you know what I mean? But this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to click download. Right, demo one, we've got it. And I'm going to go down to... Uh, Vidry Maker here, right? And you got these, you got these super cool tools here, right? So video repurposer, right? Start, you know, whatever. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click select video. Must be in downloads. Let's have a look. Bang, demo one. We've got it. So it's going to take a few seconds. It's there. Now, obviously, um, you know it. It is a certain shape, okay. Now I'm going to go with square because I want it. To, I want it. To, I want it to go on Instagram. Okay, I want to post it onto my Instagram. Now you got a couple of different things, and depending on the video, you know, you can change the background. So white, you can blur it. That's all. Bit of a favorite is the blur. So whatever's in there kind of gets, you know, expanded and blurred in the background, and it can work okay, right? Now, also, but depending on the video, what you can do is you can click fill and what it's going to do is it's going to stretch it to the height and it's just going to crop the sides off. And for this purpose, should work okay. So let's just click plus, sorry, click. Let me just cross this off at the bottom. Click play. It's going to work fine. Look at that, you know. Brilliant. Working great. We don't need to watch it. Now I can move all this stuff. Now, what I could do if I wasn't happy with that, you know, I could I could add text here. So you can see a create overlay. So this kind of pops up here. And, you know, I can add different bits and pieces if I want, which is super duper cool, right? Add watermarks, all that sort of stuff. But here we go. I'm going to click on fill because that's what I want. And I don't really want to do anything else because I know the video. I like the video. So I'm just going to click on um, create video. And you can see the same process in. Forty percent, eight percent, 
download. So let's just download it. All right, let's download it. So we've downloaded it. We're going to click back to app. And we're going to go to scheduled posts here. And I'm going to click on, oh no, right, okay. So this is one of the cool things, right? So this uh, video dash rule comes with mobile apps. So if you click on mobile apps, here you can download mobile apps, they're free, okay? And it just gives us the ability to post onto our profiles, okay? Because, you know, things like Instagram, they're very uh, picky, they're very um, temperamental, they're very sensitive to outside interference from other applications and other products and services. And, you know, there's been a lot of problems over the last couple of years with uh, products that have interacted with Instagram, okay? And it doesn't, there isn't that many there. So we've got these here, and what it just allows us to transform the information across to just say our, um, you know, this thing, you know. Uh, it's the old iPhone, isn't it? But you can get it with the... Um, the other one as well. So if you've got a uh, Samsung or whatever, it's perfect. So we're going to click on schedule post and I'm going to click on new post. I'm going to click on pick video and I'm going to go to the video that we just downloaded. It's going to load it. Let's take a few seconds. Wowzers. So we've got that there. We're going to click next. Um, and we want to go with Instagram. Okay. And obviously you would have set up your, connected your account previously. But, you know, what you can do here is you can put in a message um, here. Just say, um, build it now. Check out the link in our bio. You can't put a link on Instagram. It doesn't work. Okay. So check out a link in our bio, bang, space. Let's grab some hashtags. So let's just grab this, go back to where we were, paste that there. Now what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna click on um, post now. And instantly, I don't know if you can see that, but it says um, that the application has jumped up and it's telling me that I can do something on my phone. So, I mean, I haven't got the, I haven't got my phone connected to the computer, so I'm not going to be able to show you this, but, um, essentially what happens is that we kind of get this sort of situation where it's showing us the video, all the information that I typed in there, and then I've got the ability to share it. Okay. So let's click pause. I'm going to click on share. And what it does is it downloads the video onto our phone and it gives us the ability to go and take it elsewhere, okay? So you just choose Instagram. And you can't really see the way it's gone, but I've got the image and I've got all the text and I click okay. Click share. Bang. We should be just open up Instagram again. See what we've got. So now we've got a brand new post on Instagram. Okay. Which is super cool. Exactly what we want. So what we've managed to do there in a matter of seconds, you know, is create a video that I can use on Facebook, wherever, and I can repurpose it for other platforms such as Instagram. I could do the same, I could repurpose it for TikTok, um, Pinterest, all that sort of stuff. And I'm using the same content, so I can go in and do that over and over again, which is, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, so you're, you're crushing it on all the different platforms, okay? So, you know, that in a nutshell is what we're talking about here with video dashboard and I absolutely absolutely love it you know I'm always thinking of ways to um, simplify doing one thing for multiple ways you know so I don't have to basically spend my time doing this sort of stuff because I can't be bothered so that is why 
I'm thinking that dashboard, video dashboard is super cool. Now, if you like it and you think it might be something for you, go down below and check it out. But as I said at the start of the video, uh, I've got a bonus for you. Now I haven't, I haven't put together a bonus of just trash. Okay, I've got, I put, I've got something that is going to be, you know, genuinely useful. If just say you want to make some money online, you want to make some affiliate commissions. Okay. So what you're actually going to get is you're going to get access to a product that we've released in the past and it's called freebie commissions. Okay. So you're going to get, you're going to get access to this product for free and it's going to allow you to create the campaigns with freebie commissions. So what is freebie commissions? So freebie commissions is essentially a uh, campaign generator uh, to make affiliate commissions. Okay. And the way that it works is, um, we've got landing pages and the lead magnet, which you're going to be able to give away for free. And what's going to happen is, is that you're going to build the leads from these people signing up, uh, to take this free product from you. Um, but they're going to be put through a funnel, which is going to enable you to earn commissions on those higher priced upsells, um, after, you know, the free front end of the product okay so it's a super and amazing uh bonus that i'm giving you an actual product um and i think it you know you know it's great so you know if you if you, if you want that bonus you have to come here get involved with a video a dashboard you know and you're going to have a two-pronged attack of you know your marketing okay so let's finish this video you know, because I need to go and get myself some lunch. I'm starving. So jump down to the description beneath this video. We'll see you soon. As I said, uh, multiple times, I'm going to be uploading some content on a much more regular basis, which I hope that you enjoy. Um, we'll see you soon.